Lewin, let me give your question to our panelists joining us today. What a wonderful question. That, that is on the minds of a lot of folks. These are the, the most draconian measures are being put in place where the, you're seeing these spikes. Former Marine Gunnery Sergeant Jesse Jane Duff is joining us right now and Republican strategist Vic Bajaj. Good to see you. What a question. Jesse Jane Duff, I'll start with you. Why is that? Why are you seeing the spikes in the states with the most restrictions um, like California? I happen to be out in California. I've been out here since March. I'm in Sacramento, as a matter of fact. So I think Californians who have often been seen as very liberal are finally coming to an awakening that this government control of their lives has created such demise and the absolute hypocrisy of the leadership has disgusted us beyond end. Um, I was born and raised here. I mean, we used to have a very strong conservative representation, but the left-leaning politics have essentially created a state that has made people dependent upon the government because now the government comes along and saves you with their unemployment benefits, all these other benefits. But what they're not looking at is all the businesses that will not be able to continue. Many of these will be permanently shut down. We have the Democrats in Congress that won't pass a uh, relief to many people. So essentially people are on their knees trying to beg the governor to stop. And I've gathered many businesses are protesting and are going to stay open despite what the government tells them to do. The people have to do uh, a contested uh, uh, representation. They can no longer just bow to the government. And Gavin Newsom is the greatest hypocrite of them all. Vic Bajaj, your thoughts on that? Well, you know, I hail from San Diego here in Southern California. And as I talk to my friends and colleagues and fellow business owners, you know, everybody's suffering over here. You have your mom and pop restaurants who are struggling to put food and water on the table for their friends and family. Meanwhile, you have the Olive Gardens and the Chipotles and, of course, the French Laundry, a restaurant who has extraordinarily wealthy and powerful patrons. They're unaffected. The small business owners are getting hurt. And really, we have to commend Assemblyman Gallagher. His court case is a monumental and pivotal court case. This is really under the umbrella of the separation of powers, which we see leaking into the legal arguments attacking the election results. And surely these dictators, which they really are, these governors here in California and New York, across the entire nation, but one common denominator, hurt the small businessman and hurt the mom and pop businesses. It's just unacceptable. Final thoughts from Assemblyman Gallagher. Well, we've got to put an end to this. Um, and, you know, it's going to take legal battles. I think it's going to take people rising up. You know, as Jesse said, I think many people even here in California, which is a blue state, um, are waking up to the fact that uh, this type of rule um, is, you know, not consistent with representative government, and it is taking over their lives in an unjust way. Um, and more and more people, I think, are are getting. I call it super woke. Uh, they're finding out that actually these these democratic leaders are not helping them, and actually have put them in a very precarious place. Um, and I think it's going to be incumbent upon us to continue to challenge it, push forward. Um, and protect and, and ultimately protect our, our community's safety and their liberty. All right, I'll leave it right there. Assemblyman James Gallagher, California, thank you so much. Jesse Jane Duff, Vikas Bajaj, stick around. They are our panelists for today.